Oh, I'm scared of to me. She's gonna knock on the door. Oh, uh, bring her. Just play. Yeah. Oh, this was an awesome. Let's start with uh, questions in the room. Obviously, it's short line and it's turnover. What you guys think like from the credit point? Yep. Uh, definitely turnovers. We talked about it in the locker room. They had 44 points off of it. So you take away at least half of those and different game. So we learning though, you know, it's early, it's game seven. So we got a lot of time to figure out how we can put together a full game. Yeah, kind of going off that too. I don't know what you guys are a little bit younger this year, especially with, you know, having guards out and, and kind of piecing together things like that. What kind of positives are you trying to with that? Especially like you mentioned, you still really well kind of figuring out where you guys are at. I would say just us continuing to learn from, you know, the leadership. We have some really great coaches all the way around, coaching staff, um, watching film, um, having extra extra times, just talk about the game, like X's and O's. I think that's something that's really important, especially because we do play so close back to back. Um, the best way to learn is to just like watch as much film as we can and um, talk about stuff. You guys have battled uh, really hard, you know, tied the game with 60 60, then they went on a 17 5 run. Kind of what was the key that you got that moving in their direction? Turnovers. I know from y'all had two back to back uh, bad turnovers, and I take accountability for that. I need to be smarter with the ball, but definitely turnovers. Alicia, could you talk about his foul throwing ability? From the 12th and Thursday, we are also in the career that we want to talk about his uh yeah i mean i'm just being aggressive uh i mean when i go left i mean i'm all out so i mean it's just i don't know just finding like little ways to like keep the fin on my body and able to draw the foul but most important just continue to be aggressive uh i mean we just gotta lock in uh what are we seven games in? Yeah. So yeah, so this this uh road trip is very important. We need to rack up as many wins as possible. But the biggest thing you just need to lock in and get the job done. Um, even with you know just yesterday when it was happening, but it felt like it, it felt like the defense was playing it's tight early. tonight. And I guess that you were the last couple of games. Did you guys feel a little bit more connected on that? And it seemed like you were walking. <laughs> yeah, we definitely were focused on bouncing back from the last game defensively. And um, overall, we definitely did. Um, like I said, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't that. I heard us tonight. Sure. All right. Want to know for me? <laughs> what happened? Thanks, Leash. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, the the tell of this game is our turnovers. I mean, forty two points. Off of turnovers, you're not going to win a lot of games like that. Um, and then free throws, putting them to the free throw line. They're the best team in the league in terms of being able to get to the free throw line. And we we gave them exactly um, who they are. You know what I mean? They don't have a ton of transition points, but when they turn people over, they convert really well um, in transition. So 42 points there, 21 points there. That's 60, you know, 62 points. It's just, it's going to be hard to hard to overcome that. Um, so to me, that was that was the tale. Coach, when you look at the source of your turnovers, uh, communication issue with this everyone coming together. Or it's in this. It's communication. It's being indecisive, and then and then it's um, I think being timid against aggressiveness. Right. So um, just like standing there, waiting, waiting, waiting for an action to happen while somebody's being aggressive and now you're on your back foot, you're trying to make passes and you're not in position to to uh, be the aggressor. You know what I mean? So I think a lot of that happened today and um, we just can never be in that position. If people want to pressure you, great. Put the ball on the floor, you know what I mean? And create opportunities. They'll come suck in. We can move it. Um, but I think some of it was that. And then some of it was just simple mistakes, simple, just like not focused and making bad turnovers. They had five players with over 10 points. Can you talk about the difficulties of playing a team that's got that many scores? Uh, 
Yeah, I, listen, I, I I think defensively against what their sets were and stuff like that, that we did a pretty good job, right? So um, we had a we had a few mishaps, like letting Carrington drive the lane and get in ones. I wish you got two of those offensive rebounds put back, right? Um, that's just, to me, that's a lack of um, focus from us. So when plays like that happen and they're able to score, then, yeah, you're going to get people to have, uh, you're going to get multiple people in double figures, but in terms of, I think, guarding what they what they did, I think we did a pretty good job of that. So now we have to clean up those um, those other opportunities, right? Boxing out, like, that's just focus. That's not, you know what I mean, anything where it's like, I got a scheme against that. It's focus. Like, we know Carrington wants to rebound. So we got to put a body on her every single time. That's just a focus. If you put a body on her, you don't have to worry about offensive rebound, putbacks, fouls. You know what I mean? Different things like that. So it's just a lot of a lot more of uh, focusing on the things that we know that they want to do. I know it's really hard to have a player that you can take from, but when you know Ryan is playing more than one now that you've had in your career, and you're trying to like, help somebody along, uh, play in a different position. What are some of the challenges facing them that you're trying to you know balance with that? Yeah, I mean, I th I think part of what you saw tonight was tired legs too. You know what I mean? Playing so many minutes and um and trying to obviously trying to lead um while while we're out there. The conversation is just continue to be yourself. You know what I mean? Don't let the fact that now you you're moving to a different position because we're really positionless in terms of anybody can bring the ball. But I thought you saw a lot of tired um tired legs today when it came when it came to Rye. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it wasn't the greatest. <laughs> it wasn't the greatest, but um, you know, our our job is to get better. Try to find opportunities to get better in areas that we need to continue to grow in. Um, today I thought we did a much better job of following a scout, right, and executing a scout in terms of uh what they wanted to do on the offensive end. Um. Right. We need to be able to take care of the ball, especially when you're going on the road. You know what I mean? Take care of the ball. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't the best, but, you know, we still got to play games, regardless of if you're home or if you're away. You still got to suit it up and you got to play the game. So our job is to go on the road and try to get a few games on the road. You know what I mean? And then come back home and then see what happens from there. But, um, you know, we don't have a lack of confidence, I think, in this, you know, on this team or in this locker room. We're very capable of um, going on the road and getting four wins, right? It's a matter of um, whether or not we can put a whole 40 minute together. If we do that, I think we'll be fine. One last thing for me too. I think like, obviously, you know, we talked the other day about finding positive and consistent things. Like, yeah. He was having a career season. Yeah. That she started off. Um, I mean, I was just wondering what you think has been so impressive about her so far. I mean, CP has always been able to do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's always been capable of having the type of um, the type of year that she's having so far. Um, with CP, it's just going to be consistency. She has to do this when you want to when you want to be a big dog. Like the big dogs do it consistently. You know, they don't necessarily take nights off. Um, and so, the most impressive thing is that you know she's starting to do it with some consistency. She's understanding that you know if you want to be if you want to carry that load for a team, then you have to show up every single night and do the same thing every single night. And so, I think that would probably be the most impressive thing is that she's doing it consistently now. Yep. Hey, Coach, you went with Haley at the start tonight. Uh, yeah. Is it the last game it was nine? So are you just trying to see the best fit, or is it a game by game as far as your starting? Yeah, five? it was matchup. It was matchup reasons um, that we decided to go go with Haley tonight. And the same thing with Nas the last game. It was just it was just matchup reasons. Um, we like the the different matchups in terms of who has to guard who, et cetera, et cetera. So. Um, you know, we'll keep figuring it out, you know, while we're down, while we're down, people will keep figuring that out and seeing what, what works best for us. I asked you this about the Liberty Ask the same thing. We play this team again in a couple of days. Yeah. What changes it? I think that we probably need to take care of the ball <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, we need to take care of the ball and we got to defend without fouling. You know what I mean? We got to stop putting ourselves, getting ourselves out of position to where we where we have to make silly fouls. You know what I'm saying? But we can take care of that if we do, um, I think, 
I mean, I call them easy, right? The easy things by like boxing out like the intangible things, you know what I mean? Things that, you know, I can't scout for and I can't scheme for. You know what I mean? I could just tell you that, hey, this team is going to go to the boards. Hey, this team, uh, you know, their aggressiveness, they they score in transition when you have live ball turnovers, like take care of the ball, like that kind of stuff I can't necessarily scheme for. Um, it's just a matter of we, we got to be able to translate it. We got to know it and, and translate it on the court. One last thing, you talk about what the Lakers can do off the bounce this season. How aggressive has been in the Lakers are running? Do you ever like to move the body uh, through the contact uh, I, I think if you've ever watched, um, Alicia play, like she's not doing anything that she hasn't done her whole career. Um, Alicia's always been a very capable score, somebody, um, and a very capable ball handler, somebody who could put the ball down. Um, somebody can get to the rim, can get to the mid range and can shoot the three. So I think what you're seeing is just like a freedom within our offense to be able to play, um, and, and, and be yourself. So, um, that I think, when we went out and, and got leash, um, that was the expectation. Um, and she's doing exactly what we thought she was capable of doing. Good. All right. Yep, yep, yep.